Here's one of my favorite questions that I ran into. We are trying to find the value of x. And we got an exponential equation right here. So my first go-to when dealing with exponential equations is to write the expressions into the same base somehow. And the threes are popping out to me right here. 81 can be written as base three because 81 is the same thing as three to the fourth power. So let's go ahead and change that three to the fourth. 10 we can't really do anything with yet. And on the left side, I gotta figure out how to combine these two expressions somehow. Knowing your rules of exponents, this right here can be split up into two pieces. That is the same as three to the x power times three squared. I'm just taking products of powers backwards. And I cannot combine these yet at this state. And here's the key to the problem right here. If you do three squared, three squared equals nine. We're just gonna drop down the rest of the expression and believe it or not, this we can combine. Think about it this way. Nine times three to the x is the same thing as writing three to the x, adding it to itself nine times. Now I don't expect you to write all of that. I just wanted to show this visually. So if we add another three to the x power, then all of this is the same as 10 times three to the x. And you can kind of see where this 10 is coming from. We are almost there. If I want to write this without a ratio, I can just move this to the numerator by making the exponent negative. So that would be 10 times three to the negative fourth power, which is the same as this expression. And from here, you can kind of see that the value of X, since all of these match, is going to be negative four. I thought that was a really creative question and I hope it was a good review for you. If it was, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.